hello hello welcome to my channel um, today I have made a quick and easy spread um, of course when I painted the face it wasn't that quick um, it takes a while but I love doing it so I have a lot of faces lying around and I don't know what to do with them so I try to use them sometimes in my art journaling and um, this is a quite nice way to use up your old papers um, I just cut them out in uh, not squares triangles uh, and I'm gonna add them to the spread and like I said a really easy way to to use up your scrap papers so I just want kind of a you know um, gr how do you say a uh, shattered piece kind of so now I'm just attaching them randomly And by the way, I'm using my favorite glue. It's a quick glue from Panduro, my workplace. Uh, so it's really nice to use because it dries really fast, really quick, like the name implies. And I'm going to use my Prima Marketing watercolors. Uh, it is the um, pastels kit. And I love the pastels. I use them a lot nowadays. I also use them when I'm gonna um, use watercolors for painting faces and stuff. So I'm just kind of using the colors that are already in the scrap papers. And it's um, a whole lot of pink and it's some yellow and brown. There are of course more colors in the scrap papers, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use them all. And now I'm gonna shade around the pieces. And I'm using my um, it's a pen from Faber Castell. It's water soluble. It's the um, Let's see, what are they called? I don't know if they're called anything special, but they are uh, water soluble, at least. And that's why I use a kind of brown red nuance. Because it'll match with the face. So it's a lot of shading and I'm using uh, my pen first and then a pencil and then I'm going to use my, my brush with water just to dilute it a bit. And the only plan I have here is, <laughs> as usual I don't have a lot of plans but I wanted to use the face in, in it so that's the only thing I knew. And I'm cutting out the face and I want it to be a bit more um, how do you say that not roundish I want it more um, straight lines straight angles in it so it looks kind of geometrical and then I'm adding it and I like the look of it but I want of course I'm shading around the face also um, with my pens, pencil and some water but I also want to add some more uh, paper scraps around the face so I'm just gonna cut out some more scraps like I did now and now I'm gonna add them around I 
kind of like that. And of course, if you don't want to paint a face, you can use a, a face from a magazine. I know fashion magazines have a lot of faces and I never buy those, so I don't have any. So I'm gonna have to paint them myself. But of course, I love doing it also, so it's a win-win for me. Uh, but you don't have to paint them yourself. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, what I mean. And I just added a coat of my transparent gesso and, and then I'm gonna shade around the new edges and the new scraps with my Pit Artist pens from Faber-Castell. I love those pencils and they are um, brush pens and they are not water soluble. They are permanent and light fast, but you can smudge them with your fingers the first seconds after you applied it. So that's the pens. These are the pens that I normally use when I'm uh, painting my faces and I'm shading my faces. And that's why I chose them here to match with the face. So I'm using the same colors that's on the face. And now I'm just <laughs> removing the back papers the, a bit because they have glued down. And I'm going to use my label maker to write something. And I'm going to write, sometimes I feel shattered, but I know that I am not. Because I know I feel kind of shattered sometimes. And... I know that it's that it's not the truth it's not really the, th the truth uh, because I know that I'm whole and I'm loved and I'm safe and but sometimes you don't feel it but I think it's important to tell your th yourself that you are fine you are more than fine And I'm just shading around the the wordings some more to make them stand out a bit also. And yeah. I'm just um, distressing around the pages a bit with my distress ink from Tim Holtz and then it's done and I really like it yeah I do I uh, enjoyed making it and as you saw it was really easy you just use some scraps I don't even stamp I don't even use stencils no modeling paste so it's it's really easy to make and fun and relaxing and i hope you stay safe and that you are taking care of yourself and yeah have a nice day
Bye.